Let's talk about the best premium laptop for data science in 2022. I'm Saman Vey, a data scientist living in Sydney, Australia. Two months ago, we talked about the best budget laptop for data science in 2022, which featured laptops from a price range of 800 USD to 1000 USD. But today, let's talk about the most premium laptop that money can buy. So we'll start from a price range of 1500 USD and work our way up to 4 thousand USD. So stay tuned to find out what is the most specced out laptop you can get for data science. First up, it's a gaming laptop from Dell. And this laptop range is a household name amongst gamers. It's the Alienware M15 R6 gaming laptop. Coming in at around 1,500 US dollars, this laptop has everything it needs to be a beast data science laptop. It features an 11th generation i7 Intel processor with eight cores, giving you enough processing power for all your parallel data science workflows. Apart from that, it's got an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 with six gigabytes of memory. This is really useful for your heavy deep learning workflows. In addition to this, it features a 2K display with 240 Hertz refresh rate, making it ideal for your gaming needs. For a gaming laptop, it's got a quite a futuristic design, making it look cool rather than nerdy. And for those of you who love mechanical keyboards, you're in for a treat. Because this laptop features a fully mechanical keyboard that was co-developed in collaboration with Cherry, which is a keyboard switch manufacturer. For those of you who are really into mechanical keyboards, you'll know what I'm talking about. I'm usually not into gaming laptops purely because of how bulky they are and how much they stand out. But if I were to buy one, this would definitely be it because of its futuristic design and its sleek operation. So I would say that this is a great bargain at this price point. But one disadvantage is that given that it's a gaming laptop, Laptop, the battery life is around three and a half to four hours, which might be a deal breaker for some of you. But I've got good news coming for you very soon, which is the next laptop on the list, which is the Lenovo P15S Generation 2. Right off the bat, you'll notice that this is a sleek and corporate looking laptop, which will blend into your surrounding rather than stick out like a gaming laptop. It features 32 gigabytes of RAM with a quad core i7 processor. It comes equipped with an NVIDIA Quadro T500 four gigabyte graphics card. The model comes in at around 2000 US dollars. As for the display, it features a 15 inch full HD resolution display with an option to upgrade to 4K. This is the perfect laptop if you're looking for something high powered and not flashy like a gaming laptop. It's also more portable coming in at around 1.75 kilos as opposed to the 2.4 of the Alienware laptop. And the battery life is around 10 hours, nearly double that of the Alienware laptop. The next laptop is another gaming laptop. It's the Rogue Strix Scar 15 inch gaming laptop. Rogue stands for Republic of Gamer, which is a special series of high-end gaming laptops manufactured by ASOS. This laptop comes in a around 3000 US dollars. It comes equipped with an AMD Ryzen 9 eight core processor along with 32 gigabytes of RAM and an NVIDIA GTX 3080 16 gigabytes graphics card. And this is a top of the line GPU. I would say that you're definitely getting your money's worth when it comes to this laptop. It also comes with a mechanical keyboard just like the Alienware M15. At a glance, this laptop has a striking stealthy design along with a 15 inch HD resolution. The battery is around six hours, a little bit on on the lower side when you compare it to conventional laptops, but it's definitely doing better than the Alienware laptop we discussed earlier. The next on the list is the MacBook Pro 16 inch M1 Pro laptop, which is Apple's latest premium laptop. Given my love for Apple and its superior performance, of course Apple was going to be on this list. It's really the definition of a premium laptop given its hefty price point. The version I'm talking about features Apple's M1 Pro 
chip along with a 16 core neural engine GPU with a 10 core CPU. It's a powerful workhorse. The base model comes with 16 gigabytes of unified memory with the option to upgrade to the 32 gigabytes unified memory. The total price point with the upgrade comes in around 3200 US dollars. The base model comes with 512 gigabytes of SSD storage with an option to upgrade to one terabyte. The only downside of MacBook Pros is that it doesn't come with an Nvidia graphics card. The battery life is supposedly 15 hours, which would make it the best in its class for such a powerful laptop. Check it out if you're in the market for a Mac OS data science laptop. The next laptop is the HP Zenbook G8 Studio Workstation. It's HP's premium laptop range designed specially for gaming and machine learning. This G8 laptop features an Intel i9 processor with 8 cores, 32 gigabytes of memory, a 15 inch full HD display, along with an Nvidia RTX A2000 4 gigabyte graphics card. What I love about Zenbooks is that they give you the option to preload the laptop with either Linux or Windows, which is better for some of the more advanced data science users out there that are well accustomed to running workflows in Linux. But that's not something I would recommend to the beginners out there. I think you really should stick to either having a Windows flavor laptop or a Mac OS laptop to begin with. This laptop is priced at around 3,460 US dollars, which makes it only slightly expensive than the MacBook Pro 16 inch laptop. The next laptop is the Razer Blade 17. Razer is another one of those brands which is a household name amongst gamers. Coming in at around 4,000 US dollars, this laptop is as premium as they come. It comes with a 14 core i7 processor, 17 inch 4K display, 1 terabyte of hard drive, and 32 gigabytes of RAM. For the GPU, it's got an Nvidia GeForce RTX 3080 Ti. Apart from the solid specs, the design of the Razer Blade is my favorite only second to the MacBook Pro. Similar to the MacBook Pro, the Razer Blade is manufactured using a single aluminum block. It also comes with a quad speaker system with surround sound. It also gives you the ability to upgrade your RAM with additional slots. And finally, it features a full HD webcam, which seems to be rare in laptops these days. And the final laptop and the most expensive one is a laptop that's specifically custom built for data science. It's the Lambda Tensor Book. It comes pre-installed with either Ubuntu or Windows 10, depending on your preferences, along with some other data science packages like TensorFlow, PyTorch, and CUDA. It features a one terabyte hard drive, an Intel i7 eight core processor, along with 64 gigabytes of RAM. As for the GPU, it's got a Nvidia RTX 3080 Max-Q. And finally, the laptop comes with a three-year warranty with Lambda. That's a wrap for today. If you enjoyed the video, then smash that like button and I'll see you next time.